Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. Recently got few comments about my VS Code setup, like what are the extension and the themes I'm using. So I'm going to tell you that this video might be useful for you. Okay, we'll get started by one by one. So let's go to VS Code and here if you go to the extension tab, here you can see like I have a lot of extension. Okay, so first one is this bracket pair colorizer. It's a really good uh, extension. Uh, use is very simple. If you go to any of the JavaScript file or TypeScript file, uh, you can see like a lot of uh, brackets we use, right? So anything within the object, we use a lot of curly braces and these brackets. And if you are using a lot of call callbacks, then definitely we have a lot of uh, brackets, right? So this one will give you a clear idea like where the bracket is opening and getting closed. So if you see like based on the color, uh, here you can see some line, right? So it will be very easy to understand like where the bracket opens, uh, the object opens and where the object gets closed closed okay so this is very handy and this is very useful i am using this from from like my day one of learning the uh, javascript okay and second one uh, is the dot uh, this is not relevant to many of us i think uh, if you want to uh, learn flutter if you want to build some application you can use the dot along with the flutter uh, extension this is like bundled if you install any one of them both should be there in the vs code Already I have a um, couple of videos on Flutter. Maybe you can check out that, okay? And the theming, theming is the most of you ask me. I use this Dobri Next, Dobri, Dobri something. Dobri Next, this one I used. Uh, within this, we have like 23 colors, okay? And it also supports the icon pack, but I don't use the icon pack. I use the VS Code icon. Uh, that is the kind of like inbuilt icon this is what i use and this is really good i don't like that much color uh, icon this one is like natural uh, the extension uh, like the um, how we call it if you like java javascript we can see that the original icon of javascript so that is really good so th this is the one i use but for the theming of course i use this dobri next uh, here we have like 23 color okay so if you go to the settings if you go to like uh, color theme and here you can select we have a lot of colors i will show you a few colors maybe so if i go back to any of the javascript file and if i search for Control shift p and theme color theme then you can you will get you can just uh, go based on your requirement based on your uh, visibility you can use it if you have a good display i will recommend you to use the dark theme but if you're uh, using some kind of monitor or maybe like your display is really dull then don't use dark that much it will really strain your eyes if you have a good screen then i will recommend you to go with dark or something like this i mostly use this medium uh, this looks really good at least to me so i prefer this one okay next one we have this emoji lock which is really really good okay so i will show you the example of how i use it so if you see this latex path uh, my github uh, repository here like whenever i do something i add something new i will use like new then followed by the commit message if i'm doing some testing i will say like test then followed by this one and this icon and this text uh, is coming from that extension okay so it's very easy i will show you one demo if i go to this git uh, branch you can see like i have some commit changes okay i'm going to add all this yeah so these are now in staged and here i can say like control shift p and then i can say like emoji log okay i can click on this emoji log and then you will see like we are getting few options like if i am adding something new i will you select this if i have improved the code i will use this if there is a bug and i fix it i will use this so based on this you can understand right so this is really a good thing and then you can just give your commit message like uh destructuring and you can give like control enter and that's it your commit is done then you can just sync changes it will upload to your github that's it very simple right and one more thing i used is the uh, git lens okay so here you can see like git lens this is really very uh, handy like if you go to any of my file uh, let's say that the same destructuring and here whenever i click right you can see like you that is me a few seconds ago i have done committed with this message committed message right and if i take some old uh, file you can see like uh, of course it's showing my name because i'm only the repository i'm the only person using this repository 
but in a project if multiple persons are doing commit and you can see like who did the changes and what the changes and commit message um, uh, like the date and time this is really, really very very handy i use this a lot in my project so this one is very cool extension and recently i tried this github copilot this is you have to uh, go to github and sign up for a beta version then only you will get not sure if it's publicly released or not uh, it's not really it's in basically in preview so you have to go and sign up then only you will get already i have a video on github copilot with a playwright uh, that was a really good video you can go and check it out okay and then of course uh, the html css you know i do a lot of uh, angular thing and the chrome extension so of course i need the html support uh, so that the intelligence will work so for that i'm using this one and live server is also related to that like i can just uh, open any index.html i don't have to refresh whenever i do code changes it will get reflected automatically and of course the playwright runner uh, i created this with a zero star 446 download but zero star unfair anyways um, then the Kyoka. this is one of the most i used while learning the javascript okay it's very simple control shift p and give like Kyoka and you will get two options new javascript or the typescript if you say javascript and then let's say that we have something like let a equal to 10 let b equal to 10 and then if you say console log and a plus b then you can see the result immediately on the screen that is the beauty you don't have to open your terminal you don't have to compile or use like node then followed by the file name is it like just type it you will get the answer that is the beauty of uh Kyoka plugin okay uh this by the way it's not fully free it's uh it has commercial version as well but i'm using the free version and uh that is pretty much enough for me okay uh yeah and then we have this to do tree to do tree is also a very good one i will show you what is the use uh for example let's say that i'm using this uh file i'm doing something i and I have planned to do something. Let's say that uh, to do colon and I will update this later. Something like this. So if you wanted to the to do basically, you know, right? So once we do like this, what will happen in the sense you can see like here we will get something like to do tree. Okay, if you click on that, you can find in all the places in all the files like what are uh, the things you have to do so you can simply go to that particular file and you can do whatever you want to implement it okay so that is the really cool about to do uh, extension and lastly the vs code icons and i think i already have said that right yeah that's it these are the extension i use nothing other than that few are disabled uh, which are related to the java and css formatter i think that is uh, not needed i mostly use eclipse for java but sometimes i use vs code as well so i have installed this but i don't think you needed this one okay so yeah that's it uh thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon